Honorable Minister, you continue, please, in your seat. As the Honorable Member for Tatale Sanguli, as the question listed 174. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To ask the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, what steps the Ministry has taken to revamp the Shini Iron Ore project in the Tatale Sanguli district of the Northern Region? Thank you. Honorable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Ghana has two major iron ore deposits in the northern parts of the country, at Fudo in the upper west region and Sheni in the northern region, located approximately 160 kilometers east of Tamale. Mr. Speaker, the deposits contain total resources of 1,270 million tons with grades of no less than 30% iron ore, which can be upgraded using beneficiation approach. 200 million tons of the deposit is estimated to contain a higher grade of 45%. Mr. Speaker, in the past, energy requirements for all beneficiations and transportations were major challenges. However, it is expected that additional energy from the Bui Dam project and the recent thermal projects being undertaken by government will address the energy challenge. Mr. Speaker, the Volta Lake is also some 48 kilometers away, and the development of a lake transport system could improve accessibility to the Shani deposits. The lake port of Yape is also about 96 kilometers southeast of the deposits. Mr. Speaker, government facilitated development of such resources by the private sector through promotional drivers and innovations to undertake due diligence. In view of this, Mr. Speaker, a company named Emerland Resource Limited was ultimately granted a prospecting license over the area in 2011, which was subsequently extended in 2014, Mr. Speaker. However, a protracted court case ensued between the company and another Ghanaian company over the deposits. Subsequently, there was a judgment in favor of Everland Resources Limited in March 2016. Mr. Speaker, the other party filed an appeal in the courts over the judgment. Therefore, Emerland has not been able to mobilize to continue with exploration activities to validate historical data as well as other deposits in the area. Mr. Speaker, Emerland has spent quite over 10 million US dollars on exploring the deposit so far. Granted that exploration work confirms the suitability of the grades and the tonnage available, the company will proceed to prepare a feasibility study report for review by the Minerals Commission. Following from the feasibility study report, Mr. Speaker, a mining list which alone can be given or a right for developing the concession may be granted by the Ministry. Mr. Speaker, the feasibility study report will be the basis for the timelines for development of the project. The Ministry, Mr. Speaker, is waiting expectantly for the resolutions of the judicial empires to enable us facilitate progress on the project with the investor, Mr. Speaker.
Yes, Honourable. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, what role is his ministry playing to ensure that the court expedite action on the impacts? Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, unfortunately, the ministry cannot and do not have the capacity to intervene in the court process. Question start one three six in the name of the honourable member for Tatale Sunguli. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to ask the Minister for Energy when the electrification of the following communities, which started in 2016, will be completed. One, Barbu Tabu. Two, Nawili. Three, Sangba. Four, Bulpale. And five, Cheney. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Mr. Speaker. The respective communities in the Tatale Sanguli district form part of the self-help electrification program SHEP 5 being executed by the Ministry of Energy. The high voltage and low po voltage poles have been supplied to all the communities. These poles have been planted and dressed in Paribu Batu, Nahugili, Low voltage poles have also been planted in Sabang and Shady. Owing to access accessibility challenges, poles planting is yet to comment in Bukpali. The reason for the delay in the completion of works is shortage of some materials coupled with the access to the Bukpali community. The ministry is in the process of procuring these materials to allow completion of work. The procurement process is expected to be completed by the end of first quarter 2018. The projects in the above communities have been scheduled for completion by the end of second quarter 2018. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Honorable. You are satisfied. Very good. Question. Item listed three. Urgent questions. Honorable Minister for Interior, if you please take the relevant seat. An urgent, stand, urgent question stands in the name of the Honorable Member for Akan. Listed A. 3A. Is the Honorable Member in the House? Mr. Speaker. Honorable Member for Tatali. Tatali Sanguri. Is he? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Present. Mr. Speaker, I rise to ask the Minister for the interior what the Ministry is doing to curb highway robberies in the Tatali Sanguli district. Honorable Minister. Mr. Speaker. 
totally Sanguri district, which shares a border with Togo, has generally been very calm. The district did not record any violent crime this year until May 2017, when some eight persons believed to be foreigners invaded the town and robbed some people. The suspects were pursued and all of them died in a shootout with the police and town folk. The police administration has intensified patrols along the main highway from Yendi leading to Togo as a way to forestall further robberies in the district. More personnel have been transferred to Tatali Police District to augment the strength of the police personnel. Mr. Speaker, efforts are also being made to resource the Ghana police with additional logistics. And I am in no doubt that the Tatali District Police will be a beneficiary. This is to ensure that the citizenry is safe from armed robberies and other crimes. The community policing unit has been directed to extend their activities to the country, in the hinterlands, including Tatali Sanguli District, to establish neighborhood watch committees to enhance personal security and to provide necessary intelligence to facilitate security operations. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I would like to find out from the Honorable Minister what is his ministry putting in place? Because the good people of Tatale Sanguli are living in fears. I think in his answer, he said it was only one incident reported. I think this is the eighth incident that has been recorded in Tatale Sanguli this, uh, district. And five lives were lost. So, uh, in the short to medium term, what is he going to put in place so that the good people of Tatale Sanguli will, not, uh, will no more live in fears? Honorable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I've already alluded in my answer to increase patrols. That's one of them. Indeed, Mr. Speaker, let me say that the town folk of, Sub of uh, Tatali have been very supportive because this incident that I've related to, uh, they acted in concert with the police. Yes, we're going to continue working with them. And I believe that the Honorable Member of Parliament can also be an effective stakeholder working towards establishing points along the routes where we can uh, uh, have other you know, checks on movement of people. But that would depend on the intelligence that we get from the place as to the areas that these uh, armed robberies take place. Yes, I'm aware that since that there have been a few issues, but they are still being investigated. And I can assure you that we've increased our attention there and we will do our best to assist, uh, make sure that the people of Tatali, as the rest of the citizens of Ghana, feel safe. Thank you. Hello. Uh, I think the armed robbers use certain areas as their transit point. And they are Sangba, Sheni, Sangule, Nyojado, Parvutabo, to do their operations. These places, in the interim, if the minister can, let, uh, can establish a police post within the areas mentioned, so that those armed robbers will not get way into the district. Because the areas mentioned are sharing, uh, I mean, boundaries with Togo. And that is where they use as their transit point. So how will the minister assure the good people of Tatale Sanguli 
if they can, uh, we, in the interim, if they can put, uh, pol I mean, a uh, police post at those places so that uh, the people of Tate Sanguli will live uh, without fear or they will live, they will be safe. Thank you. Honorable Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, I thank the Member of Parliament for the detailed information that he's given me. I'm not aware of it up to now. I'll be happy if the Member of Parliament can put this in writing so that I get the police to see how they can actually uh, work with you to deal with those uh, soft spots. But I thank you for the information and I'll, I'll ask that we continue to interact and not restrict our interaction to just question time in Parliament. But that information is very useful, and I'll be happy to work with you to see how we can use that information to further strengthen the uh, security uh, arrangements in the place. I would also want to tell you that uh, it's near Togo, and we would also let the immigration service get to know uh, these matters that you've just raised, and I'm sure working together with you and the town folk, the chiefs, and other stakeholders, we would make totally uh, citizens feel safer. Thank you.